my dear beloved catechism teachers, greetings of love, peace and prayer from Bishop Rafael Tattil, your shepherd of the Parki of Shem Shabbat. Hope that you all keep fine. By the grace of God, we remain healthy and safe. I have come on this video to share with you some of the details of our Catechism for the Children for the academic year 2020-2021. I start my intervention expressing my unending gratitude for the noble ministry you render to plant and build the church, the mystical body of Christ. I would like to share with you one of my experience as a catechism student. One of the catechism teacher loved me so good and he was always very close to my heart. He used to tell me every Sunday after the Mass, Mohan, the way you read during the Mass was excellent, very clear, very loud. He also used to tell me the devotion by which you serve the altar gives me the impression that God calls you to serve on the altar for the salvation of the souls. It is he who, he who for the first time gave me a book with photos and pictures of St. Francis of Saviour. I read the whole book with one night and that book became an inspiration for me to surrender my whole life for the salvation of the souls. My and teachers, I would like to tell you, your vocation to be a catechism teacher is not a mere incident nor accident. It is part and parcel of God's design of building the church is a mystical body. You are called like the disciples of Jesus. Jesus sent the twelve to the villages surrounding and they explained how Jesus was healing, how Jesus was teaching. They also shared the content of the good news he preached. They became agents to attract the people to Jesus. Your call to be a catechism teacher is to be considered a vocation given to you by God for the mission of transmission of faith. Jesus was counted to be an excellent storyteller. I was checking the four Gospels. At least 60 stories either by parables or by anecdotes or by incidents Jesus used to teach people. Catechism should be made attractive by attractive pedagogy. You should tell the students stories. You should tell the students anecdotes, sharing of your experience. Jesus was a lover of nature. Many things he taught his audience Examples taken from nature. See the birds of the earth. See the beauty of the lilies of the garden. This natural beauty became a means to teach the audience how God is powerful, how God is almighty. Jesus sometimes taught through discussions. Many have come to ask questions. They asked, 
who will go to the kingdom of God. He took a child and put on the middle and said, those who become converted like this child will be the heir of the kingdom of God. He was also visiting families. He visited the wedding uh, feast of Cana. He was in the family of Bedania. He was in the family of Zacchaeus. I request you that you should have personal contact with the parents and the families of your children. Also, I would like to tell you, Jesus was praying very much. And the disciples came and asked Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray how you prayed and how John the Baptist taught his disciples to pray. So your session should be not only mere academic, it should be a prayer session. You can teach through prayer most powerfully your children. I would like to conclude you, conclude my intervention telling you that you have to be part of life lab experience. Very often what is the advantage of our catechism department it is too much academic. What is the disadvantage of our catechism department? It lacks a lot of experience. We need experience sharing. For example, some of the sessions, you should make arrangements to be done in the orphanages, in the leprosy sanatoriums, in the small villages, where our children see people less privileged, underprivileged, live so happy, depending on God's providence. My dear catechists and teachers, I request you to make this academic year more successful and witnessing by making it effective, effective and attractive. Thank you once again for your noble service for the church to transmit our faith to our new generation. God will reward you for your service and sufferings according to your needs. I pray for you and bless you. Keep me and our department of catechism in your prayers. May God bless you. You are loving. Bishop Rafael Tatil. Bishop of Shamshabath.